Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube video. It feels so weird saying that after so long and a part of me is almost angry with myself that I sort of let myself go. Um, YouTube was sort of a good distraction for me and something I've always wanted to do, hoping that there may be a bigger outcome in the future for me. Um, it's a good hobby, it's fun it's an, and it's just a distraction from the real world and I think amongst with amongst with just life and work and all the other different distractions i sort of just let myself go and i let myself go at the wrong point i was so close to reaching a thousand subscribers and it's not too late so please subscribe if you're not already um and i was doing genuinely well and i think this the sort of kick for me was was lockdown and that's why in some ways lockdown has been a blessing as well as a burden and I think you sort of have to outweigh the positives um, to the negatives and sort of put life into perspective, manifest goals, manifest dreams. And let's be real, we're never, ever going to get time like this again. Um, and it's precious. You can either just let yourself go and, you know, sort of, and I don't want to say be negative, but you sort of have to give yourself that kick and say, get into gear. It can be depressing. And I understand people about in their mental health and worrying where the next meal is going to come from and jobs and work but you just have to manifest positive energy into the world into the universe <laughs> so yeah i hope you're all coping well with lockdown i am back and i'm going to try and get some consistency going um i'm steering more towards sort of like reviewing products um designer brands high-end luxuries and stuff like that um so if you are interested then please let me know um only because um i realized that my alexander mcqueen review had like unreal views and to some seventeen thousand might not be a lot but to me that is a lot to know that it's a stadium of people it's a concert and to put that into perspective to know that that many people wanted to watch me is quite privileged so Without further ado, I'm going to get straight into the video. And today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing my Louis Vuitton monogram toiletry pouch in the 26 centimetres. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> this is something I have wanted for a very long time. Um, and I just couldn't get my hands on it. And to be fair, I don't think you still can get your hands on it. It's sort of hit and miss. You have to go on the website at random times, which is what I did. I, I literally was on my work break and... I seen it come in stock and I was just like, I need to get it, I need to get it, I need to get it. And uh, luckily I got it and it seems I had the last one because when I refreshed the page after my confirmation had gone through, it said there was no longer in stock. So it's like a hit and miss um, product that I know quite a lot of people would like to get their hands on, but it's sort of a tricky one to get their hands on. So first off, when you open the box, um, it's just sort of this canvas um, and you get a dust bag which obviously has the item in um a little louis vuitton envelope which i'm not actually sure what has in it let me just tilt this slightly um i've never actually looked i think i was so excited okay so that's just like your exchanges and returns notice thingy um a gift receipt um which i'm guessing is compulsory and a thank you for shopping this way thank you for shopping with louis vuitton um little brochure card um and a return slip in that envelope um then you have got another mini um louis vuitton envelope this sort of rope was um wrapped around the box in like a cute pretty little bow this little envelope i'm sure this is just a piece of white card yep i don't know why they do it. it must be for decorational purposes just a little piece of white card and this one hmm. oh i think maybe the white card was inside this little pouch i don't know if that's just like an authentication um like verifying thing it must be um so we've got the big box and you get this 
dust bag. Now, I actually don't like this dust bag. I don't know why, but I just think it's very outdated. And Louis Vuitton, you need to come a little bit more modern now. People are spending their big dollars with you. And then we have the baby. <laughs> First off, as you can see, it's got the brown monogram LV, LV print all across. Now, I brought this for 280 in february 2020 obviously like i said it was on an off chance i was completely lucky to get this and i still feel lucky to this day however it now retails for 360 pound so louis vuitton have fluctuated their prices which i think they tend to do every couple of months or every couple of years correct me if i'm wrong so i was really really lucky um to get this statement luxury piece for the price i paid like i said it i kind of look at it as an investment um uh, because they're still retailing for 360 i could then sell this on and because it is a wanted piece that i know of um i think i'd have no sort of problem reselling this again if i ever needed to um one of the main points that i like about this bag is the versatility of it it literally can be used for its intended purpose which is a toiletry pouch obviously girls wear it as like a, a clutch bag which is what i do myself when i'm going out it's like a nice little statement piece when you're just wearing like a basic outfit um so you can use it for your makeup your toiletries that is amazing and i think that's why it's sort of lined with this um material here um which makes it really easy easy to clean i've never had any spillage or like lipstick or makeup um wear on the bag at all but i think that's why they have lined it with that nice cream leather which is easily wipeable because of its actually of its selling purpose which is a toiletry pouch obviously you're going to have things that may spill or stain so i do like that about it um and then like i said girls wear it as a clutch which is lovely under the arm like this and i'm just going to quickly show you guys what fits in this bag um if you are thinking about purchasing it so typically on a night out i obviously have my phone this isn't my this is my old phone so i put my phone in there i always like to go out with a brush because i normally have like a curl um with the, with the irons or like a straight do so my little denman brush or a comb excuse the hair that is disgusting so pop that in there and i always like to smell nice and top myself up in the toilets so i've got my little ysl mon paris which my best friend brought me um i pop that in there the unforeseen circumstances of 2020 i now have to carry a mask so i pop that in there um can't go anywhere without my lip gloss because i'm not here for the dry lips um 2021 i said i'm not going to be having crusty lips so that goes in there and i've got a little lovely personalized mirror that i had for christmas that goes in there and i can even fit some sunglasses in there oh shit no oh, sorry <laughs> for the lovely weather to come so yeah if you want to pop your sunglasses in there you can and as you can see obviously i've packed it disgusting but there's still more than enough room so i'm gonna zip that up so you can see how it sits and it still holds that beautiful shape to it which i really like it doesn't go any puffy like sort of cheap bags so overall i do really love this bag um one thing i'm sort of worried about for the future <laughs> when i'm drunk is i tend to like wave the bag around and sort of just and i don't think that's what you're meant to do with it but like i said for the price you pay you do expect sort of good sturdy material which it is this does seem quite flimsy which does scare me for the future so if you do tend to purchase it like if you look at the sort of corners where it's stitched you can almost see like little gaps um but like I said, worries me, but you just have to be a little bit more mindful, not as lapsy daisy as myself, I suppose, because you're not meant to carry it like this, I don't think anyway, because it just seems like it's going to just tear off and that will break my heart. Obviously, it's got like the cream Louis Vuitton, which is embroidered in the leather there. Um, overall, I just love this bag and I do think this was sort of my last major designer purchase when I think no i brought a coat after that <laughs> this was one of the last designer purchases that i made just because i've gone a little less materialistic 
and that's not to say and no malice towards anyone who loves to be designed head to toe because that was me um at one point but i've sort of just steered less towards that now um just starting to think more about investing and buying my first property soon well i say soon within the next five years um and i still do like to wear the odd designer thing and i always like to wear nice clothes but i just think i've come to the realization that you can be head to toe in zara or top shop or river island still look as good if not better in head to toe in versace or gucci or louis vuitton i think it's just about weighing the balance and knowing what looks good because i think sometimes i look back at the old me where i'd be like head to toe in design i think you know what that actually doesn't look good it just looks a bit it just looks a bit forced, like you're trying a bit too hard, girl. And I don't want to be trying too hard. <laughs> so I've took it down a notch. And I say it's a great purchase to make. Number one, for versatility. versatility. You know, it's got that you want to wear it for a pouch or you want to put your stuff in it and utilise it for storage, which is great. Um, I think it. the price is a great price. And I do think Louis Vuitton will pull it up again. If they wasn't scared to do it this time, they will do it again. So grab it whilst you can, when you can. I don't know when it comes back in. Obviously, I don't check anymore because I got it. I got lucky. Um, and it's just a statement piece that everyone wants. And if you are a little bit of a hoarder like me, this is great for decorational purposes. So I do keep the box. Yeah, I'd say go for it, girl. Um, save up your money and treat yourself. Or just do it. Do it as just a rational decision to make um i hope you enjoyed my first video back on like i said i'm steering more toward towards the reviewing um side of youtube but if that's not what you want to see from me then let me know if there are any purchases that you would like to make i'm happy to do so um if you want me to try out some high-end designer pieces or even just some basic pieces um from the high street i will buy them review them and give you some advice on them and some key points before you make that decision to spend that money so yeah just let me know please subscribe to my channel like this video share it on all social media platforms and yeah i hope you enjoyed my first video back it's lovely to feel it's lovely to be back i feel happy i feel blessed and like i said i'm just going to try and keep that consistency now um of uploading sort of i'm <laughs> i don't want to buy up more than i can chew but i'm gonna say weekly i'm going to try um i don't know why i'm saying try because i should just be doing it anyway but i've got nothing else to do so whilst i've got the time i'm gonna try and utilize it as best as i can thank you so much for watching guys love you all